the family. Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. I'm Brooke Anderson in Hollywood with AJ Hammer in New York. And tonight, Beyonce and the dictator. Yeah, Brooke, people are just stunned today over reports that Beyonce rang in the new year in St. Bart's by performing at a party thrown by, are you ready for this, the son of Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Yeah, of course, that sparked a lot of outrage. Uh, you remember he gave a hero's welcome to the freed Pan Am 103 bomber just months ago? That sparked outrage as well. Showbiz Tonight wants to know, what was Beyonce thinking? Joining me tonight from Hollywood, Leslie Marshall, host of the Leslie Marshall Radio Show, and with me in New York tonight, Mark Lamont Hill, who's a Columbia University professor. Mark, I gotta tell you, I was really surprised by this. Gaddafi is known as a terror-backing dictator. I gotta wonder, what the heck was Beyonce thinking by agreeing to perform for his son at a party on New Year's Eve. Was this just a bad idea? Well, let's be honest here. Beyonce wasn't thinking anything, and Beyonce rarely thinks about anything when it comes to choosing which spot she goes to speak or to, to perform. What happens is her handlers usually make really good decisions about where she's going to perform. She has the best package image of anyone I've ever seen. So it seems to me that someone fell asleep at the wheel or the money was so overwhelming, I hear it's $2 million, that they said, screw our public image, we just gonna take the cash. Well, not like she needs it. <laughs> anyway, and, and it's really interesting, and we don't have any confirmation on, on that amount of money but we do know as you mentioned celebrities you know they get paid lots of money to do private events all the time they do it for politicians and corporations heads of state Leslie what do you think should Beyonce have looked at this a little differently than any other gig oh it's not just another party uh, definitely, and, and it has nothing to do with uh, December 25th and that attempted attack because that's a different country, that's Nigeria, and this is not Gaddafi, this is his son, but let's look at the son. Uh, this is a guy that has been uh, arrested for beating his servants, for beating his wife. We don't know what his politics are. I think it was a very poor choice, and regardless of the amount of money, you're right, AJ, she certainly doesn't need it, so I think it was a very, very poor choice because of who he is and, of course, who his father is. And like you said, heroes welcome for, for a guy that was responsible for how many hundreds of people who died over Lockerbie, Scotland with that Pan Am uh, terrorist attack. Yeah, and obviously, you know, despite that this has nothing to do with what happened over the Hollies, terrorism as a result is on everybody's mind, Mark. I'm just trying to picture how it went down, where even if it was a handler, not Beyonce herself, that, well, we have this offer, we have this offer, we have this offer, mm. oh, let's take the one for Gaddafi's son. I think it was the big bag of money on top of the middle <laughs> offer that made it go through. I mean, again, people say they don't need the money, but even if Beyonce makes $100 million this year, $2 million is still a week's salary. I mean, that's a large sum of money, and quite frankly, her brand could take a hit and still keep going. She's not someone who's teetering on the edge. She's not Kanye West. She's not Rihanna. She's someone who's always been above the fray, and she can take this hit. I'm not saying she did it on purpose, but surely it wasn't that bad of a move if you get $2 million at the end of the day. Yeah, and sometimes, you know what? It's hard to pass up the money. You got that right. All right, another story that's making big news tonight. Rihanna stepping out with a new man. Now, Rihanna has been spotted canoodling in Cabo with L.A. Dodgers outfielder Matt Kemp. Leslie, I got to tell you, I think it's great seeing uh, uh, Rihanna's back out there, uh, maybe a positive sign that she's able to move on from all the drama that Brown brought to her life after he beat her. I have to tell you, AJ, I agree. It's a new year, time for a new man, and I think this is an improvement, and the violence and the beating and all that stuff aside, this guy is a fine-looking guy and, and, and a fine-looking athlete. So I, I think Rihanna is doing the right thing. I think it's a positive thing for her personally, uh, possibly even professionally with her image with young girls. New year, new man, and I think it's a great pick. Yeah, I think it's terrific. I, I agree with you that uh, professionally, as well as for other young girls, because I think it sets a positive image. Okay, you go through the rough stuff, and in fact, you can move on. Leslie Marshall, Mark Lamont Hill, thanks for being here tonight. I appreciate it.